Hi everybody. So yesterday I watched a video that was somehow called um, Art in the Age of Content. Uh, something to that extent. I think that it was a bit about Art vs Content. A lengthy video I had to stop watching after a couple of minutes. Uh, because I didn't see the point. It's probably very likely, by the way, that you also don't see the point in the stuff that I do and you just switch off and, uh, yeah. Thank you for your consideration anyway. So what, what I was thinking about when I watched that video was it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to contradict. And you see, art is content, but not all content is art. For example, what I'm doing right now is content. Whether you like it or not, it's content. But it's absolutely not art. I'm just holding my phone and talk to it. <laughs> but art is art. So when I make a movie, I consider it art. If I paint a painting, write a script, write a song, record it. I also consider it art. It's also uh, always very subjective. It's probably uh, also very likely that you don't consider it art. You maybe consider everything that I do garbage. Maybe I also consider stuff that you do garbage. I don't know. But, however, what's important is that art, every art is content. Even the Mona Lisa is content. It's content for books, it's content in the Louvre, where it's on display, because it's actually physical content of the Louvre. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, you can say that art is always content. But content is not always art. And that's my message today. Very brief, very short. Yeah, let me know what you think about it. That's all. So the whole lengthy video could have been two minutes, something. I made two minutes or uh, rather three minutes. I actually made three minutes of it with some rambling to make it some longer. So you already probably already uh, uh, swiped away or skipped away anyway. If you didn't, thank you very much for that. And I wish you have a great day ahead and uh, goodbye. <laughs>